Mark chapter 10, verse 9. Mark chapter 10, verse 9. The Bible says, What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Close your eyes. Tell this prayer point loud and clear. Take it loud and clear. Say, Every power attacking my marriage, you are a liar. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every power attacking my marriage, you are a liar. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Today's topic is five signs of getting married to a wrong person. Five signs or dreams of getting married to a wrong person. So by the grace of God, we are going to tell you the five signs that indicate that the person is about to get married to a wrong man, strange man, wrong woman. Maybe you are planning to get married and you have been seeing this dream, 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 dream. So you are wondering the interpretation. So sit back, we are going to tell you, we are going to break them down five. I'm going to take my time to tell you the five signs or dreams that show that you are likely to get married to a wrong man or a wrong woman. No matter whether the person is a child of God, is a child of Satan, or is a prophet, is a pastor. But once this sign, you are seeing these signs, then it's putting a red flag. Put everything on board and begin to pray for more revelation about the man or about the woman. Sit back. God bless you. By the grace of God, we understand that a lot of people are passing through a lot of we discovered that a lot of people are passing through problems in their marriages, in their relationship. Some people later discover that after marriage, they are getting, you know, they are getting married to a drug addict. They are getting married to a prostitute without finding out about the man, about the woman spiritually. That is why you see so many homes are falling apart, are broken as a result of this situation. You get married to a pastor. You get married to someone that has money, but after, after the marriage process, you discover that that person is, is entirely the kind of person you, 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 you assume him to be, or you assume her to be. But the marriage, his character or her character changes. You begin to imagine, is it the, that, is it, was it the person I, I saw when I got married to, when I saw him in that relationship? So I pray that God will open our eyes to this revelation in Jesus name. Number one signs that show that you are likely to get married to the wrong person. If you are seeing a faceless groom or bride in the dream, a faceless groom or bride in the dream, you know you are in a marriage, you are in a wedding, but you are seeing a faceless, when you are a woman, you are seeing a faceless man, the person you are getting married to, you can't see the face. You can't see the face of that person. You are a woman. But your instinct is telling you that this is a stranger. Do you understand? The pastor is about to join both of you together. But the person, the man or the woman, you can't see the person's face. Then it shows that you are likely to get married to a stranger. It does not matter whether the person you are, you are in a relationship with, you are cutting with, is a pastor or is, is somebody that has money or is a nice or kind person. Somebody can be nice and inwardly that person will tear your life into pieces. So when you are seeing this dream, is sending a red flag that whatever you are doing, put it on hold and begin to go into inquiry prayers about that man or woman. When you are seeing a faceless groom, a faceless, faceless bride in that dream, it shows that you might like you to get married to a wrong person. Somebody that you, you, you thought that is a good person, but when you get married to that person, you begin to ask yourself, why? Why do I involve myself in this marriage? You begin to cry, immediately you begin to seek for divorce as a result of this little bit of issue. Number two, seeing yourself waiting for your partner, you know, waiting for your bride, waiting for the groom in that dream. You are actually you are actually in the wedding, but you are waiting endlessly for this man, waiting endlessly for this woman, but you can't see him. You can't see her. Everybody, they are everybody, everybody are fully present in that marriage. But you are still waiting for that groom to come. But it shows that you are going to get married to a wrong or a stranger. Take note of these signs. Take note. These signs as is as a result of what has happened to somebody. Then I put them into a message. 
So when you are seeing yourself waiting endlessly for a groom in the dream, then ensure that you are lying to get married to somebody that will frustrate your life. So you need to pray more if you are currently in a relationship. Let God open hidden mysteries to you concerning that man or concerning that woman. Number three, seeing that person attacking you in the dream, the person you are in a relationship with, you are cutting with. You know, the person you are, you know, you are about to get married, then you are seeing that person attacking you in the dream, attacking with knife, attacking with weapon, with cutlass, with gun, with anything, with, dead, with harmful objects. Do you understand? So when you are saying something like that, it shows that uh, we, we may likely get married to a wrong man, to a wrong woman. So you have to pray very, very well so that you will not end up your, your life, your destiny in shambles, in destruction. I pray the Lord Almighty will guide you aright. Listen, if you discover that pastors have been telling you that, oh, this is the type of person you need to marry, the type of man you need to get married, get married to this man, get married to this woman, you don't have to resolve, you need to pray, have a conviction within you that if this person is, is truly the right person or not, so you need to pray so that the person will not end up, you know, destroying your life during marriage. I pray the Lord Almighty will help you as you make that decision to choose the right partner for yourself in Jesus' name. Number four, seeing his ring, his wedding ring being removed in a dream. You are seeing his wedding ring being removed. Being removed. You are not yet married, but you are seeing the ring of that man being removed from his hand. Be sure that you are going to get married to a stranger. Get, get married to someone that has another fiance, another woman outside, but is trying to hide things from you. So it's a warning signal for you to pray if you are currently in a relationship so that they will not deceive you, so that somebody will not betray you, so that somebody will not just manipulate you as a result of this marriage matter. So if you are seeing a man pulling off his wedding ring from his hand in the dream, it's a red, it's a red flag for you to pray against all this evil manipulation that want to destroy your marriage. Praise the name of Jesus. Number five, seeing a faceless man proposing to you in a dream. You are seeing a faceless man proposing to you in a dream. Somebody is coming to come and propose to you in a dream, but you can't see the face of that person. A man is coming, I want to get married to you. He put hands, he put his rings on your finger. Do you understand? When you wake up from that, you say, ah, who is that? What's going on? What's going on with my life? I can't, do you know the person that, that is trying to propose to you in a dream? I can't remember. Then show that you are like to get married to a stranger. Somebody that you, as a person, you don't like. As a woman, you don't like that person. But you feel that because time is running out, your age is running out. Let me just, let me just squeeze myself to get married to this person, so that I will feel, I will feel secure. No, don't rush into marriage. When you are seeing a man, you know, the faceless person putting ring on your finger, you need to pray very, very well. The enemy is pushing the wrong person to you. You need to pray. Father, reveal the spirit behind this person. And let God reveal it and, and guide you as you make that decision towards your marriage in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Say this prayer point. Say, every power that wants me to marry a strange personality, you are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to marry a strange personality, you are a liar. Die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this last prayer point loud and clear. Say, every evil altar of my father's house, working against my marital victory, cast fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil altar of my father's house, working against my marital victory, cast fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take this last prayer point loud and clear. Say, you stranger, what are you doing in my marriage? Come out in the name of Jesus. Say, you stranger, what are you doing in my marriage? Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray every stranger in your life, the Lord will reveal them to you in Jesus' name. You, this book has blessed you. Share to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.